A lot of people already know me from Plasti Dip in cars, trucks, and SUVs for the last five years. Today, I wanna to do a Plasti Dip video. It's a little bit different. We're actually gonna do a tool. Now, I do wanna talk about a couple of things. First, I wanna talk about the new colors. Plasti Dip has gunmetal gray, blaze orange, and blaze blue in the 14.5 ounce cans, full strength, four year tools. That's awesome. But more importantly, I wanna to talk to you about the instructions of it. Now, Plasti Dip does not recommend shaking these. If you do, it does put a lot of little air bubbles in there that make your finish really, really ugly. So they recommend stirring it. Now, I have a stir. Um, okay, so I can't find my stir, but a screwdriver will work in any case. When you're done, let it dry as well, peel it off, you'll be okay. So after you have your color picked out, you have your tool ready to go, and you have your stir on hand, the next thing you wanna do before you do anything else is set up a spot somewhere where you can hang your tool. Now this can be done a couple of different ways. If you have a flashlight like this one that has magnets on the back and on the bottom, you can set it on a toolbox and hold there and then put your tool on the side here so it'll hold there. And then you can just let it dry like that. Um, that's the way I prefer to do it. Don't have to mess with any tape. But if you have an attic string, and some electrical tape. Go ahead and tie one end around the attic string and just let it hang down. After you've done that, go ahead and find a garbage bag, a newspaper, something to put underneath the area where your tool is going to be hanging. The last thing is, you wanna go slow. But with that being said, we're gonna do things a little bit differently today. I'm gonna take one of these cans and I'm gonna shake it really good. I'm gonna take the other can and I'm gonna stir it really good. Now I can already tell you from personal experience, you're gonna get air bubbles in the finish either way. It's kind of hard not to, but if you take your time and you work with it and keep an eye on those air bubbles as they pop, kind of give it a twist, up and down motion, those air bubbles will self-level and work themselves out. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, gunmetal gray. Gunmetal gray, shake it, not stirred. Now this is the blaze blue. We're gonna follow Plasti Dip's instructions. So let's give this a good stir. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need two hands. We're gonna go down really, really slow. Now, regardless as to what you think of the speed or whether I'm fast forwarding the video, follow the instructions on the can. There you are. That is actually a nice, solid finish. So I'm gonna hang this up and let it dry, and we'll move on to the very well shaken gunmetal gray. There are gonna be air bubbles in here. I just wanna see if I can get in and out without those air bubbles ending up in my finish. Now I can see that as I'm pushing down in the Plasti Dip, you may not be able to see it on camera, but I can see them popping around the tool. And all I'm doing is as I see the air bubbles pop up around the tool, I kind of want to give it a little bit of a shake, back down, back up to recoat it let that hole settle. If you don't do that, if you don't take care of that while it's happening, when it dries, you're gonna have all kinds of little imperfections in your finish. I got one and two. Other than that, for being shaken, I gotta say it's come out pretty good because this side doesn't have any. I'm gonna hang this one up as well. Now this one I've already done one coat in the blaze orange and it's been sitting for about 30 minutes. So this is what I've got on my finish. Now all these imperfections you see are because of the finish underneath. This is a very, very old screwdriver. A lot of dents and cuts in it. So I don't want you to think that the Plasti Dip did that. It's just kind of having to 
work with the materials I gave it. So let's go ahead and go down with coat number two. This one has also been shaken, the blaze orange. I did not stir it, I shook it up really, really good. I had a really tough time dealing with the handle on this one. Um, there were a lot of air bubbles in it. I got one up top, but I'm not gonna re-dip it for one bubble. I've seen some of these where it looked like a connect the dots book and it looked absolutely horrible. So shaking it as hard as I did, one bubble is not going to uh, kill the project. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape this back up, let all three of these sit for another 30 minutes and we'll be back out again. The orange and the gray were both shaken up really good. The blue was stirred really well. And um, let me give you some close-ups as to what they look like. Following the instructions and stirring is the best way to go. You can get a good finish, but you have to work with it more to be able to get that good finish. I had a lot less trouble dealing with the blue than I did with the orange or the gray. And this is what three coats of Plasti Dip look like on the handle of your screwdriver. And this is the gunmetal gray whenever it was done. You can see there's no bubbles in it, but I had to really work at it. And then the blaze blue. It also had a good finish too but it took a lot less effort when you follow the instructions and stir instead of shake. All right guys, sorry this video's run a little bit long, but I didn't want to just try to talk to you about the new colors that we have from Plasti Dip. I also wanted to touch on how to get the best possible result. Now the little bubbles you get in the finish are not going to affect how the Plasti Dip performs, but if you want it to look good, take the time and make sure that you can avoid the things that cause these kind of problems. So if you've never seen those bubbles before, let me take the time to show you what they actually look like. So this was done with a regular black with the uh, chameleon aerosol over it. Now the chameleon aerosol didn't affect anything because you can still see the bubbles underneath it that popped while it was drying. Now I used a black base on this and it wasn't a can that was stirred and not shaken. So you can see in either case, the possibility is there. I'm not saying every single time you dip a tool you're gonna get these. All I'm saying is be mindful of what you do when you dip your tools and you can avoid these. I think I said that pretty intelligently. So whether you wanna use Plasti Dip's new colors, two-tone, solid handle, mix it with aerosols to make custom colors, we have everything you need. So come by our Facebook page, facebook.com slash awarehousefull, or our website, www.awarehousefull.com, where we have live chat to help you, Plasti Dip's new colors, and a warehouse full of amazing products.